All right, so let's get started. We're going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. And to that immediately, I'm going to add the onion. And right after that, to cool down that oil right away, toss in the mushrooms and the peppers. Now your stove top should be on medium heat. Mine tends to overheat sometimes. Keep it on a medium heat. Okay, so just stir that around a little. And now we're going to add some of the Celtic salt. I'm going to add, a, going to add about one two pinches of Celtic salt. That helps pull the juices out. This is so, so easy. Anybody can do this. I'll just check my clock. Uh, since I started it, it was 5 after 12. We're going to see now how long it actually takes. Alright, now I can toss in the garlic. Oh, that garlic in there. And about a tablespoon of my own spice blend. You do not have to use this. Um, obviously, not everybody has it. You can just use the chili powder. That's fine. Now, the Mountain Rose Herbs Organic Chili Powder. I'm going to put in, this one's really spicy that I have. I'm going to put in one level tablespoon of that. Get all that coated. Alright, now the beans. So we have two cans of beans. I'm using black beans and kidney beans. And in go the can of tomatoes. And I'm going to put about three quarters of a can of water in with that. There we go. And the spaghetti sauce. This is a 737 ml bottle, and I'm probably going to just use half of that. About half the bottle. I'm going to chop up those tomatoes. Look at that. Don't that look absolutely delicious? You can use any bell peppers or any type of mushrooms you like as well. I've had red on hand. I prefer the ripened colored peppers. And that is it. Now, you can add more salt or pepper to taste. And I put in two tablespoons of honey. If you want to keep it vegan, I'd highly recommend blending up a couple of dates or even a few raisins because, or even just adding some pineapple. Anything sweet with chili tastes absolutely fantastic. So, you know, a fistful, like a half a cup of pineapple or some date paste, like a couple tablespoons of that, or just even a handful of soaked raisins. And that will just be like, wow, just absolutely delicious. So that's it. Uh, pretty simple. And we made this chili in nine minutes. So it just has to sit there now and essentially simmer for probably ten minutes and you're ready to go. Everything was pre-cooked. Everything was canned. So yeah, it's just assembly really. It's not even a uh, from scratch recipe, but it's all completely organic and it's vegan and it's absolutely delicious. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And thanks for watching.